All right, guys, so we're going to show you guys some shoulder and neck stretches. Um, we recommend you guys doing these about three rounds, 30 seconds each. Um, these are just going to help alleviate some pain in those shoulders, those traps, and your neck. All right, guys, so this first stretch we're going to show you is a behind the back lock stretch. So you're going to need a partner for this one to get its full benefits. So you're going to stay nice and straight. Posture is going to be really good. Keeping those shoulders back, head's going to stay up nice and tall. What we don't want you to do here is we don't want you to tip forward. Arms are going to be behind your back. Elbows are going to stay as straight as possible. One hand is going to be in the mid of the back to support it. Other hand is going to pull the arms up. And so you want to do this until they feel a stretch, not a pain. And that's what's super important with all of these stretches. You're just going to go until they feel that nice stretch. And this is going to be felt here in the front, holding that for about 30 seconds and then gently lowering to let them relax out of that stretch. So this next exercise is going to be a lock side pull stretch. So one arm is going to be straight. Opposite arm is going to reach behind you to grab that arm that is straight. The arm that is straight is where we want to focus the stretch here. You're going to feel it in the front side of your shoulder there, that anterior delt. The biggest thing here is that the arm that we're stretching is staying as straight as possible. The other arm is pulling it across. If for whatever reason you can't, get your opposite arm behind you to pull that arm to stretch it. You can have a partner assist you with this one as well. Okay, so our next exercise is really gonna open up our shoulders. It's called an elevated down dog. So imagine this box is your counter. Um, you can also use your table, something of the sort. Arms are gonna be straight out in front of us. Have a slight bend in the knees, not too much strain there. Our real focus here is the shoulders. So arms are going to be straight out in front of us. Head is going to drop through those shoulders. Really just want to let our head hang heavy here. Open up the shoulders and feel that nice stretch coming through. So this next one is called a cross body child pose. So we're going to get into that child pose that is typically a low back stretch. We're going to add a shoulder variation to it. So that opposite arm is going to thread through. So you're bringing that opposite arm straight through the center of your body there and you're going to feel this on the outside of your shoulder hanging out here just letting your body sink down hips sinking down through holding for 30 seconds and then we can switch to the other side just like so your last and final exercise here is a door frame stretch so you're going to find a door frame elbows are going to be at 90 which is a super important thing here one arm is going to be on each side of the door frame and you're just going to let your head fall through here. This is really going to open up your chest and your shoulders all coming through.